Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG.net server playing Feed the Beast Infinity. Wait a second. No, I'm not. I'm on my vanilla server. Alright. I gotta get over to the FTOG.net server. Quick jump. Hi yep. Ouch. Bet you didn't know that you could jump between servers like that. Well you can't. Expert mode. Ah, a, a touch of painful on re-entry, but uh, it, it still works. Um, well, here I am on the FTOG.net server, and I had some levels, so I did what I normally do. I went ahead and burnt them off at the enchantment table. I went and said, hello, son. I said, let's go ahead and, no, no. I said, let's go ahead and take a look at enchanting a book. And protection three, not so good. But I did get me a name tag because I got me a golden egg. Yep, Dragon Raw on the server was very nice. He tossed me a golden egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly over to the mining world real quick. Uh, that greenhouse is working so nicely. It's actually working too nicely. I just don't have any enough room to store the stuff. But that's okay. Zip over to the mining world. And are you just setting, are you just rising? I'm going to see if I can sleep. Because there's nobody on the server right now, so that makes that very possible. Yeah, daytime, good. No mobs. Alright, so now I can sit there and do a little fun here with this golden egg. Let's go over here. Uh, let's go a little bit further. Yeah, it was almost daytime. Alright, yeah, here's a nice little spot. We'll do it here. Alrighty, you. And I need to be a little bit prepared. Let's go ahead and grab my safari net. Alrighty, golden egg. And I'm going to stand back. <laughs> there he goes. If you've never seen them before, they're frankly fairly cheap to make. And they're, they're kind of fun. It gives you a nice little light show and, and excitement. I may speed this up. Or not. Lights. Uh, watch out, chicken. This is going to be uh, really thrilling and exciting. You'll love this forever. Okay, maybe not, but... Um, that's the danger zone, chicken. There we go. It's a mini-me. Hello there, mini-me. And he'll pick me up. Here, let's take a look. See? Hello, mini-me. Run me around for a little bit. This actually is inconvenient, but, uh, here, I'm going to shift off and come with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a mini me, and um, that's why you don't do this in your base or any place where uh, you really like. <laughs> it will uh, go boom and cause you a problem. So I'm gonna head back to my base, and let's go ahead and ah, okay. Night already. Oh yeah, it was going night, wasn't it? Uh, let's come back here and put him someplace safe. I think if we put him upstairs, would probably be pretty good, because there's a good chance he's going to sit himself on that table, and I need to name you there. So, sit yourself in the chair. Now you're safe. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so I got a little mini-me. Thank you, bra. Ah, but that's not what we're doing today. We are doing something else. I've got plenty of power. I can sit there and churn out a lot of good stuff. There's another machine, resident machine frame. Let's go ahead and stick you with the rest of them over here. And I'm thinking of making something cool. In fact, let me steal one of you. Come back here, you. I am going to put you right there, which will get me 
an ender tank frame with all that nifty goodness. All right, let's stick two of you there, and that will get me ender chests. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna keep the diamonds because I'm going to lock them. And turtle. Oh yeah, I've got all the bits here to make me a mining turtle plus a diamond pickaxe. Uh, I had all the bits. I had already made uh, the wheels or the, the stuff to make the wheels uh, to make my dolly. I could make these, I could make all the rest of these. This one was a little bit interesting because that required getting the, the canning machine going. And then there's there's all sorts of fiddles in here, you know, which, what, what thing am I doing? I don't know, I had to fiddle with that for a bit to see what I needed. But uh, give me Mr. Turtle. And let me grab this uh, diamond pickaxe. I am going to configure him, give him the diamond pickaxe, and I'm going to go over to the mining world and set him up to run uh, a big quarry then the mine world. I've got ender chests, I can connect from the mining world to here, and I can just uh, shove the stuff and junk there into my my storage. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's about time I got something to mine for me. I've gone mining, but I think maybe four times. So not, not a huge amount of mining to get resources and iron. That's the thing I seem to be the lowest on because you just make so many things with iron here. Because all the iron turns into steel. And anyway, I'm going to go do some mining. My turtle is going like gangbusters. It's clearing out a chunk, which is mighty nice. And I, I decided to set up a few things over here to make things a little bit easier. Oh, I'm kind of stuttery, stuttery. Uh, I, I move stuff around. The rolling machine is way up there because I don't really care. Uh, but I stuck the alloy smelter and the sag mill right next to each other, on top of each other, because they will pull and push items without needing conduits. Mighty nice. And, you know, pulverize it up on here. So I can dump stuff into this chest, it'll get processed, and then this guy will go ahead and smelt the resulting powders, and I get all this goodness here, which is very nice. And I'm, I'm enjoying that a whole bunch, but uh, if you were really observant there, you probably noticed what I had in my hand. I had a little green heartfish. It's an oscillate's favorite treat, and there is a red lass or little golden lasso with an ocelot hello mr ocelot would you like a fish i've got the yummy fish for you come here i've got a fish it's a yummy yummy green fish this will make it take a while as as he's got to come to me Ooh, fish fishy fish will you come to me for the fishy fish <laughs> anyway, I've got two of these that I, I found and had to chase them down and avoid the creepers and whatnot that were chasing me. And uh, so now I'm going to try training me up some cats because, you know, cats are nice to have. They keep the creepers away. Fish. Kitty, I got some fish. You know, I don't think that that fish actually does anything. Let's see. Uh... You know, it really doesn't seem to be doing anything. Ugh. Why am I hitting those lag bursts? I'm going to get some raw fish. Where did I keep my raw fish? I kept my raw fish in here. Along with the other raw foods. Alright, kitty cat. Let's try with this. Oh. Is that interesting? Do you like this? Are you more interested in this? Oh, yes. Want some of this fish? Have some fish. Yay, kitty! <laughs> oh, that's a nice kitty. Who's a nice kitty? You're a nice kitty. Yes. Well, my little turtle has been uh, busy and industrious. You can see there's a, a chunk here that he chewed up, and he's almost done with this chunk, which is working very nicely. And he's blue! because I uh, hit him with a little bit of lapis as I was trying to check his fuel, and he turned blue. So I went, oh, well, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's been working really well with the ender chest. And zip up here. 
I was originally expecting let's come to the platform. I, I was originally expecting him to be working on this chunk and evidently he decided to do this chunk first so then re reset him over here. He's been going like gangbusters which has been very nice. Very nice because a lot of the stuff I've been doing I've had to manually go through and hunt and it's going oh I'm out of this I'm out of that. Gotta hunt for a little bit more copper, gotta hunt for a little bit more iron and he's doing good job so let me hop back to my base and show you what I mean. Hello. Alrighty here at the base and down here all the ore is flowing up there very nicely and yeah a thousand iron and I think I started I had like 60 so that right there is good I don't think I showed you what I was doing back here I've got my ender chest here so when my little buddy fills it up with stuff like you know dirt then it goes into here gets piped into this chest in case there is a backup and then this gets piped up into the the drawer controller and away it goes yeah that's bumped up against that drawer but it's locked and so it doesn't matter that has been working out really well I took uh, these and uh, swapped them out so they had the, the two by twos and left these two unlocked so anything new would pop in and then I kept moving them over as the ores came in and uh, yeah that's working it's working out mighty nicely and I decided to go ahead and and get the the power going uh, made a change I was I was wondering about what to do with with the the wheel and how to get it to look right yeah I, I didn't like how it was sitting there and I said nah let's change that so I figured why have one wheel when you could have three wheels for the same price or three times as expensive so yeah I went ahead and buried them down deep and uh, they are all cranking up very nicely. They all pump up into uh, individual of these capacitors, which feeds on up. And yeah, it's it's working great. I think, yeah, it's this one here is draining. So that one's empty. That one's empty. And this one's here. So they're doing their thing. They're doing their thing. It's working out nicely. I like. I think I will put some. Let's get some of the salad here and dump that in charge it up a little bit more oh nope toast is still sitting there alrighty well we'll leave the toast so the toast can do its thing and yeah I've just been saying I need more resources I need more stuff I need to have the the resources I need so I can make more steel so I can make other things I think a tesseract yeah I think a tesseract is next but not right now because uh, I don't quite have the need I need to make uh, an ender quarry first and so that means I need to make three tesseract frames it's quite complicated but uh, how's this doing oh yeah that's cranking along figured I'd make uh, four more of these because they are used in a lot and I might as well the other thing I need to figure out it's about time to start doing magic and I need to do some exploring to figure out where would be a good place to do magic and I'm thinking this direction might be good so I need to figure out where to go I, I could just put it right here ah, I'm not sure you know that would look really cool for for say the the Thomcraft stuff right here in this dark eerie biome but I'm I know eventually there's going to be enough stuff sitting here in spawn that's going to cause massive lag spikes and frame drops and so I'm thinking I might as well hunt out a place where I can set up a, a, a away from spawn base and this is a probably a good enough reason to go hunt and I'm not sure where <laughs> Not sure. A uh, little Botania bits. I need to get something going with Botania. And I remember seeing over here some primal flowers. Let me go find that. Ah, here we are. It's really close to the witch farm. Uh, let's drop down here. 
a whole mess of these Primus Day Blooms and a couple of the Nightshades in here. So I figure this is a good little place to start off with uh, getting some of the, the mana I need. Because I'm, I'm not quite ready to start with all the, the Botania bits and everything that needs to be done. But at least I can get some of the things going. Alright, I cleared this off a little bit. Uh, let's see, what do I need? I need a crafting station. Gadunk. And put down my petal apothecary. Gabunk. And I crafted some living wood and living rock over at spawn. So let's see, I need a mana pool. So there's my mana pool. I'm going to need a second one. But not for right now. And then I need some mana spreaders. And if I remember right, it's like that. Yep, okay, I need two. Because I don't think one is going to be sufficient. So let's put... Go away, seeds. Let's put the mana pool right about there. And if we put this mana spreader... Put down a block. So this can go up. Thank you much. And I think I'll do the same over here. Yeah. All right, so those should start moving the stuff my way. That's right, I need to find my wand. Okay, so you, uh, let's see, we are in, yeah, we're, no, I need to shift click, shift, shift click, shift click, there we go. And you shift click, shift click. All right, so as these day blooms, let's make sure they're all bound. You to that, you to that, and you to there. So those are all going in, and uh, you're, you're kind of equidistant. We'll send you over to here, you to there, you over there, up to here, and you last one. All right, so, up, oh, yep, mana. Not very much, it's gonna take a, a bit of time. And how much mana do I need to toss one of these in? What, it, mana pool, I thought this was, did I make, I thought you'd, you'd toss those in and you'd get a upgraded mana pool, but it looks not. Hmm, okay, uh, I do need to, chunk load this bit right here shift click me shift click control click and now it is chunk loaded that way this will just run and keep filling up my mana pool for me and that should give me a good amount of mana yay me <laughs> okay uh yeah this is just gonna sit here for a while and uh, generate Still need to figure out where I'm going to be setting this up permanently. So with all the exploring I've done, I'm really kind of liking this spot. Let's jump into hover mode and kind of spin around. It's well, it, 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 catch up. Uh, it's a nice tall peak here. Oh, there goes Tuddy. Uh, it's, it's a nice tall peak surrounded by some some nice biomes. Eh, not so nice that one, but uh, you know, there's some real possibilities here, except it's so tall, because I'm at 164 right here, that's, you know, there's stuff I could build inside there, but I like to build up, and there, there's not much room to, to build up from here, but it looks really cool, and I'm, I'm really liking that, so, yeah, I this would definitely make a really good magic place, but it's a good... Let's see, where's spawn? Yeah, 2,500 blocks away from spawn, so I need to set up some rails or something like that to get me over here quick. But that, there's some real good, good looks to that. So why don't you go ahead and drop me a comment, see what you think uh, about this, if you think this is a good spot or if you, you like something else. Uh, give me a give me a jingle and see what you think. I'm I am also thinking of building something quite big for for the magic area, since that's going to be where I'm going to 
move out when when the spawn is too laggy. And no, I'm not saying I'm moving out tomorrow or anytime soon. Spawn is just fine. But at some point, you know, there's enough stuff going on there that I'm going to have to. And uh, so I'm going to want to do that. But anyway, as the sun is setting out there in the west, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. This has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG.net server playing Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Thanks for watching. Bye.